What's going on guys? Welcome back to another scooter video. My name is Chase Ross if you guys are new to my channel and in today's scooter video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to invert Before we jump right into today's tutorial, let's make sure we throw on our helmets. It's very important when you guys are trying new tricks that you guys put on your helmets. You'll thank me later, trust me. While you're at it, you might as well throw on some knee pads. This trick, when you bail, a lot of times will end up on your knees. So having those knee pads on to do a nice little power slide out of there is going to be key. But now that we got the pads and safety out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about a couple things that we need to do before we attempt our first invert. Now that is air. You guys want to make sure that you have your airs comfortable and you guys can arc over in the air and make sure you preferably can get above coping. If you guys need some help learning how to air properly, you guys can click that card above and you guys can check out my tutorial on how to air. Now that we have our helmets on and we're hopefully now comfortable airing on a quarter pipe, let's talk about which way we're actually going to fold our scooter up to make the invert happen. So there's going to be two basic ways, it's either going to be goofy or regular. Now if you're goofy, you're going to have your left foot in the back and your right foot in the front and your invert's going to fold to your right side on your butt side. Now if you're regular, you're just going to flip it, you're going to have your right foot in the back, left foot in the front just like that, stand over here, you're going to have the scooter folding up to your left side on the butt side, just like that. Perfect. Now that we know which side we're going to be inverting on, let's talk about the actual motion. Now for starters, before we go onto a quarter pipe and actually attempt throwing inverts, we want to make sure that we can have the core fundamentals of this trick down, so that way when we're in the air, our body already knows what to do. So we're going to start out just staying right here on the flat ground. You guys can practice this motion in your room at home. It really doesn't need that much space. What we're going to do right here is we're going to stand in a can plant. Now, if you guys need any help learning how to can plant, you guys can click the card above and it'll take you right to my can plant tutorial. And then you guys can come right back to this video and finish up this invert tutorial. So now that we're in the can plant right here, what we can do right here is we have a full range of motion of being able to practice inverts like this. So that's why it's so important that you guys can actually, you know, stand right here comfortably, just kind of chilling. But now that we're comfortable with the can plants and actually moving our scooter around like this, let's talk about where our foot needs to be. Our back foot is the main point of contact to the scooter deck while doing the invert. We want to make sure that our back foot is wedged up against the back part of this brake as far as we can and as tight as we can get it. Because when we're in the air doing the invert, our back foot right here is the main pivot point that's going to be able to bring our scooter deck back down. If your back foot can't grip the back part of your scooter deck, the screw is going to kick out and it's just going to be a really hard trick to come around and land on. So what we're going to try to do is just practice getting that back foot really far wedged against that brake right there and then we're going to work on folding our scooter up. Now this motion right here, we're at a tabletop. In order to get it into an actual invert, we have to throw our hand right here into our arm. Now the way to do that is to slightly rotate your hand just a little bit. It's going to make it easier to throw the scooter bars into and between your armhole right here and then you can get into a click invert just like that all right moving right along we've already talked about where your back foot needs to be and how your hand is going to want to rotate over the grip but now let's talk about how to actually lock into the invert so when you're up in the air and you're actually you know in the air getting ready to click it for the first time you might get like a little stuck right here right in here where it follows through and goes through your arm is the hardest part to click so for starters, I would always recommend just going up the quarter pipe, kind of low and slow, not too high, just getting comfortable, and then just do like a nice little tweak. See if you can just get your scooter out to the side like that. It's going to make it a little bit easier when it comes to actually full on trying to click the invert and actually like sticking it in there because one of the scariest parts of any invert is getting stuck on the shirt on the way back down. That is never fun, and if that ever happens to you, just kick your scooter out to the side like that. It won't hurt as bad and you'll be able to use your knee pads if you guys have them on and slide out of the trick nice and easy. But again, while we're in the invert right here, we got our back foot locked in that back brake. We're comfortable rolling our hand over the grip just a little bit. We're now getting into what we would call a tabletop right here. And then in order to make it an invert, we're gonna throw it inside of our arm. Now a common mistake a lot of people do is they throw it on the outside of the arm like that. That's not an invert, it's just, it, it looks like an invert, but it's a little bit harder and it kind of pushes the scooter a little away from you. So what you want to do right here is you want to throw it on the inside of your arm like this. That way you can get the full extension and you know it's full extension when you are literally hitting your shoulder or your ribs right here. 
that's when you know it's full extension. Now it's gonna be the exact same steps to get out of the invert while we're in the air. So what we're gonna do is the exact opposite of what we did when we got into the invert. So when we're right here, we're gonna undo the arm hole right here, undo the wrist bend, keep that foot locked on, roll away straight down the landing and you're good to go. But again, let's practice that motion one more time. So while we're in the air, it feels a little bit more like second nature. We're gonna put our back foot against this brake back here, rotate our hand over the grip a little bit, pull the scooter up like a tabletop right here, push it farther through the armhole. We're gonna touch our ribs or even better yet, our shoulder up here. Now this is a clicked invert. Notice how my back foot is completely wedged against the brake right here. That is key because when you're coming back down, your foot is going to be pulling the scooter down just like that. You wanna be able to pull the scooter down come back through the armhole, unrotate your wrist, and then land just like a normal air. Let me do a couple for you guys air real quick and I'll break it down a little bit farther so you guys can get a better understanding of how this trick works. Right about now, you guys are ready to go outside and send your first inverts. But like in every tutorial I do, I always like to leave you guys with a couple of tips to think about before you go out and send your first trick. Now for inverts, a couple of quick tips that you guys can focus on while doing this trick are, of course, like I've mentioned many times throughout this video, keeping your back foot locked against your brake. No joke, that is probably the most important part of this entire trick. Now the next tip I want to leave you guys with is practicing the motion. Just standing, of course, on the flat ground doing this that over and over again. It's gonna make it a lot easier. And then this one might be a little bit more common sense, but the more air time you get, the easier those tricks gonna be. If you're able to boost in there and comfortably stay in the air, it allows you time to get the invert in and then pull it out as slow as you want to and then right away. If, you go, if you're doing it really low, like on this quarter pipe over here, it's gonna make it a lot harder because you're having to move a lot quicker and you're more likely to snag your shirt talking about shirts now let's make sure we're wearing a snug fitted shirt if, if you're wearing a big poofy jacket this trick's gonna be a lot harder now me personally i always rock the rapture pro scooter tees they're nice and fitted so they're not going to get in the way while you're trying these tricks if you guys want to pick up your own rapture pro scooters t-shirt you guys click that link down in the description and head to rapturepro.com and snag your own t-shirt but now that leads me to my last and final tip while you guys are practicing inverts sometimes it helps if you guys do an air and then do a late invert. If you guys can get in the air, get comfortable, then throw the invert and then unthrow the invert and right away, sometimes that's a lot easier than leaving the lip and immediately going straight into the invert. Now for most people who are like not getting that high in the air, it's not really gonna make much of a difference with when you actually throw it because it's gonna be like as soon as you take off so you can get it as fast, done as fast as you can. But if you're comfortable in the air and you guys are able to air like maybe a foot or two above coping, it allows you the chance to actually get comfortable in the air. Wait a second then throw it, click it, then decide when you want to undo it and right away. All right, that right there is gonna wrap it up for my how to invert tutorial. Hopefully by now you guys are one step closer to landing your very first invert. If you guys have landed your first invert or have attempted your first invert, go down in the comments and let me know. I always love to hear how you guys are doing and if you guys have any questions, you guys know I'll be down there to answer any questions that you guys can throw at me. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure to give me a big old thumbs up because like in all my tutorials, I put a lot of effort trying to give you guys the best details and all the tips that I can that I've learned from over the years while scootering. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.